Muslim who is, who who have just said hey, said hey I'm Muslim, and they're out here doing outlandish unspeakable things. They're out, out here in clubs and stuff, drinking alcohol, and, and they have a a girlfriend and stuff like that. And you know, uh, they have their faults. Everyone has their faults. No one's perfect. Cool. All right. Um, and so when you approach them and say hey brother you're doing wrong, of, of course. They don't take heed to that. They're like, bro, I'm living my own life and yada, yada, yada. And also, we see this with Muslim sisters as well, is, is that a sister will do something wrong, post it online and whatever the hell. And uh, if if a guy says to her, hey, listen, bro, you're uh, wrong here, then somehow this guy becomes a villain. This guy becomes the worst person of all time. He is basically like the walking the jail down there for how bad he is. Like, um, they call you the Haram police or you're just terrible. You don't, you don't know what it's like. And it'd be over the dumbest things. I, I swear it'd be over the dumbest things. Um, for example, right? Let me, let me, <laughs> let me, let me talk about a few things here that I've seen. So a guy will, um, a guy will be, uh, going to the, uh, the gym, right? Yeah. And so it was a Muslim guy who was going to the gym. I don't remember his name. And he was going to the gym, and he was he was like, you know, I've had this like workout routine, and obviously, as a guy, right, you have your aura, right, and you have the things that you have to cover, um, and so your aura for guys, right, okay, um, is your navel to your knees, right, so you have to cover your navel all the way down to your knees, right. This fool, 